Ever hear of a wax motor? Really, a little guy like this. Uh, we'll find out what it is. Ow! Son of a nutcracker. Um, so, the dishwasher broke today. The Here's the little soap dispenser that's in the door. And there is a little electronic device behind the soap dispenser that pushes on this lever and pops the door open. Boop! Like that. And that little electronic device is this guy right here. Um, and I originally just thought it was a solenoid. Sure, because solenoids, you know, they use a you know, a little coil to activate a little magnetic thing or a magnetic piston and they push and pull stuff all the time. So I was thinking, oh, okay, that, um, let me focus here. That would just kind of push on this lever here. This lever right here pushes on that and boop, up it pops. Well, it turns out it's not a solenoid. It's called a wax motor. And how these suckers work is that they have some wax inside and when you apply um, voltage uh, to the, the device um, it heats up that wax and that wax becomes liquid which then causes an expansion and then pushes on um, a piston that forces this guy out and the advantage to that is is that it's very strong much more stronger much stronger than a solenoid um, also, an advantage, or maybe a disadvantage, is it's slow. Um, so it, it's slow to actuate and slow to come back in. Um, which could be an advantage, could be a disadvantage. Anyways, these are used all the time in dishwashers to open the dispenser door. And I guess they're used in other things as well. So anyways, let's uh, plug this sucker in and watch her work. So uh, I got this hooked up to 120 volts. Um, and I'll just power it up right now. And you'll see here on the plunger, it's slow to actuate. It takes, it takes a little bit. Um, it's heating up that wax that's inside and it's uh, melting it and doing, let's see, can I zoom in? What? Can I zoom in? Come on. Ooh, come on. Are you happening yet? Not yet. It's coming. <laughs> there it goes. So you can see it's just slowly pushing that thing out. And that would slowly push on the little lever here. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, isn't that interesting? But there it's very strong. Like that's hard for me. You can feel it. It's all nice and warm. It's that is really hard for me to push back in. Whereas a solenoid, I might be able to push that back in. So it's good for um, a lot of force. And so if I turn this off, the wax will, it'll cool down. It's warm to the touch, for sure, you can feel it warm. And it'll cool down, and then as it cools down, the wax will harden, it'll contract, and off it'll go. Isn't that interesting? So, <clears throat> when water freezes, it expands, but when wax, quote unquote, freezes, it contracts. Cool, eh? Anyways, there's a wax motor. Uh, I'm not going to wait for this thing to come back in. Trust me, it will. Um, I think it's doing it. Anyways, um, don't forget to subscribe up in this corner up there. Um, yeah, yeah, it's coming back in. It's slowly coming back in. Talk to you later. Bye now. Oh, hey, leave comments. I'm curious about what you guys think and what your experience is with these motors and solenoids and stuff. And uh, subscribe if you feel like it, for sure. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'll talk to you later.